Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Cosmetia with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to our little group of vehicles. In today's episode, we're going to go out and hopefully make our fourth ship. It's either going to be a brand new one which will use cannons, or we're going to be copying our missile lobbing vehicle, which will be named in just a moment. So, so far, I think things are going pretty well. The designs aren't the most efficient things in the world, but they are certainly working. Very soon, we are going to start going against the more elite enemies, but I really think we should get at least one more vehicle, because looking back at the last playthrough and how much money was in the main vehicle that time, in comparison to now, we're still a little bit far off. I think after we get a fourth, then it's about time we go out and fight some a little bit more challenging. I will say that this game is significantly easier if you build just a single craft. It's more efficient, the design is more effective, but this, so far, has been way more fun. So, let's go out, let's go to one more professional area, quickly kill everything there, and then we can move on to a veteran area, which is what I was meant to say, not at least we're going to be tackling the veteran. I mean, we could just try this now. We do have three vehicles. Maybe. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay, the first enemy here is not as big as I was imagining. So, it does have a lot of electro bolts, which means it will be quite effective versus the scarab. And its reactor cores are quite far back. What we need to do is focus on that ion beam as soon as possible. So, I am very glad we have the other vehicle here, the new one, because that will be very, very, very good. I'm also saying vehicle a lot today. I don't know why. It's kind of stuck in my head. After we fight all of these, I will also be naming these two so I can finally call them things other than vehicle with missiles and vehicle with little tiny lasers. Okay, so you break off. You know what, actually, move there, then go into an attack run and stay at max range. In fact, I'll... Do that in a second. Move there first. I want to see what happens rather than giving the second order. You move out a little bit further and you can back off a little bit. Slow down time. Okay, that's where I wanted you to be actually, so that's pretty darn good. And stay like that. Hopefully those missiles will get through. I can't see any point defense on this. I'm just hoping it doesn't hit the back. The back is way too defended. Hitting here, here or here would be fantastic. Now with you, I do want to keep the enemy at max range, so like that. You just focus on that. And yeah, just fire the electro bolts. Those missiles are going to hit the back, aren't they? Yep, they are. That's split fire though. Okay, that didn't turn out too well. You've gone too far to the side, so... I think it would be better to keep you there, because trying to re-maneuver now is just going to be difficult, and just focus on those two. Then just go for, for the reactor. Oh, good, 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 missiles! Oh, beautiful, thank you! That missile volley was devastating! Okay! I honestly thought that had gone really bad because I really messed up positioning, but apparently the missiles just really wanted me to win. <laughs> Maybe we should get more of these little guys. Maybe we should. Now, before getting to the next target, I've quickly added a couple more thrusters to all of our craft, which means now we're a little bit faster, because that was definitely one of the problems we outlined in the last video. Not being able to keep up with the enemy once we moved into different positions. And hello there, Spitzer. Okay, what do you have? You have two large cannons with shields and a lot of point defense on your sides. Okay, honestly, I think for once, our regular positioning might be the better idea. However, a slight change 
I would like you slightly ahead just because I feel like the laser here is at a bit of a disadvantage. It is shorter range than the cannons, I believe. We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. And I can't see it doing well versus this, whereas our normal vehicle, this one over here, the bruiser, the brawler, with its electro bolts will be really, really good. Okay, let's continue. Make sure you're ahead a little bit more. There we go. And you're firing at the laser. Not what I wanted at all. Um, Scarab, bugger off a second. Just so you don't get hit by those two shots. Nope. How you moved then was not what I wanted. I wanted more of a side movement. A bit of a side step. Less of a just stand there. Okay, thankfully it was out of range. So, with you... Focus on the two cannons, however, since the Electro Bolts don't affect cannons, to my knowledge, since they don't have power, go for the shield generators. You, when you can, let's just do it now, I suppose. Make sure you're at maximum range, even though it doesn't help versus the cannons by the looks of things, it will at least still help versus the side weapons, like so. And... I can't see the missile craft doing too well here on its own, so just stay back and maybe you'll get a good shot off at some point. Okay, didn't expect that sudden turn. Who are you turning to face exactly? Hmm, just keep on firing at those two cannons if you can. Okay, missiles actually did pretty well. Seems like missiles at the front avoid most of the enemy point defense. Uh, just go for that shield if you're on that side. Okay, things looking okay so far. Let's just click on you so I can see you in the background. Is that destroyed or is it just offline? I think it's just offline, okay. Yeah, there's a shield again. The electro bolts have slightly shorter range, and I keep on forgetting that, so try and stick a little bit closer. Still out of range, amazingly. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can see that is way shorter range than I thought it was. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, there we go. And the shield generator is offline. And it is now destroyed. Fantastic. So, now what do we fire at? Let's take off one of the thrusters at the back. Since we're at this angle right now. Scarab's looking good. And our missile craft is fine. Slowing this thing down would certainly help. There we go. Laser certainly doing its work. And we're at a fantastic angle with the cannons not able to fire right now. Positioning wise, this is actually pretty perfect. Completely surrounding it. That laser is going to go straight for that reactor if it doesn't turn quickly. And sadly, it's turning. Okay, swap target. Go for the other, go for one of the turning thrusters. Let's stop it from doing this. Let's have the advantage of us controlling the angle of combat. Yeah, most of the missiles have just been taken down. That's why I haven't been seeing them. Oh, oh, what a shame. So close. Come on. Just one more good hit to that. Oh, two cannon shots. I don't want to change, change position, though, because that's just too good. The natural defenses of our brawler is doing really well. Yep, Scarab's still fine. Down goes one of the thrusters, down goes two of the thrusters. Go for the reactor now, you've already damaged a lot there. If we can get that reactor, I imagine it will at least chain explosion with this one. And once that's happened, it's pretty much game over. Where are you not firing? You're not in range? Okay, yeah, should have paid a little bit more attention there. I need to pause more, that's my problem. There we go, and no, it didn't chain reaction to the other reactor. I am surprised by that, honestly. However, 
didn't matter too much. Okay, next target, go for the shield, then just go for the reactors. The missile seems really slow at firing, but after testing out with the larger craft, that is just the fire rate of a normal missile launcher, sadly. It's not particularly quick. Just having one is the problem. And down it goes! Uh, did that just go through the sh- Oh! Are cannon shots not affected by shields? I can't remember. It's been a while and lots of updates have happened as well, so two things there. Actually, not much in the way of repairs. I am really happy with how it turned out. It was a slow fight, but we were in a really slow speed as well. But yeah, that was, that was actually a lot of fun. I am learning. Very slowly, I am learning. So what now and then? We could just spawn in one more craft rather than build a new one. Although I do want a cannon craft. What are you doing, Scarab? I don't have a clue what you're doing. Uh, get into normal position, please. Hello, next enemy, which is the wolf. Oh dear lord, this is an awesome looking design. Oh look, it's even got a little, like, kind of wolf symbol in the middle. Okay, so... This is gonna have a really, really nasty alpha strike. Yeah, this is gonna be absolutely brutal. Enough point defense to easily stop one of our missile craft, and enough cannons to kill everything else. However, there is only two reactor cores, so I'm going to assume... It's going to run out of power pretty quickly. Although it does have a lot of power storage as well. But I can't imagine two reactor cores can keep up all of these ammo factories and then also all of these electro bolts. I have no idea how to fight this. Do we try to strip off the weapons? There are no shields. So we will instantly hit any target we fire at. I don't know if it's best to go for weapons or go straight for the reactor. I think if it faces us like this, we go for the reactor. If it turns to its sides, we go for the weapons. I think that is a pretty okay way to think about it. So for now, you, I would like your... Where are you? There we are. The electro bolts. I want those to go for the enemy electro bolts. And then... Everything else can just go for the cannons itself. Okay. Well, let's see what actually happens first. Really do need to learn the hotkeys for these. This will make this a lot easier. Anyway. Just for now. You can go there. And as usual, you just stay at max range firing missiles. Although, once again, definitely enough point defense to stop that from really working out. Who are you firing at? Uh, the Scarab, I think. Okay, it's going to its side. You, on the other hand, are going to go to this side. Okay, I think it's okay for now. Ah, turned off the power already. F poop. A lot of damage is being done by the laser, at least. Turned off again, though, by the electro bolts. Okay, the, the laser craft is just about fast enough to keep this at bay for now, although it will be, yep, turning around. Come on, take out that large cannon. Lovely!
And the next. Yeah, the missile craft has been pretty much nullified in this fight. If I'm already targeting this, is there a way just to target all weapons by any chance so I can actually select it without having to go back to the craft? Obviously, there's a hot key to actually get back to the craft, but at the same time... There must be a way. Almost. Oh, the laser's doing a good bit of work here. Almost getting to the reactor. The Scarab and the Brawl are doing a lot of the work here. Oh. When did that door get deleted? Well, I've done a goof, haven't I? I wonder when the missiles weren't firing. Apparently at some stage... That door got deleted and I was editing some other things in the blueprint mode. I just didn't notice. Well, we didn't need it. It's just proof we only needed two craft. It's superior Lathrixian design. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible at games. Oh, the important thing is though we're having fun. I'm not even going to rotate our scarab. I'm happy with it just hitting this area here. Same with this, targeting the thrusters. Surprisingly okay with that. Well, they're saying that the two electro bolts really need to change target. Um, go for these. Just because right now you're hitting things you're not really affecting. Um, okay, change to that cannon, then the smaller cannon, then destroy the thrusters. So this battle went a lot better, because like I said before, I have upgraded the thrust on all of the craft. And the difference is amazing. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Spitzer, you... Uh, change target. Shields forward now. Crud. Okay. Ev everything against that shield and then against that reactor. Poop. Um, are you out of combat yet so I can build? No, you're not. Okay. How about you back off? So you're no longer in combat, eh? Come on, take out a reactor, please! Ah, oh, the debris getting in the way there. Lovely! Okay! Wolf has been defeated! This is one messy series of fights. Okay, change of plan, uh, electro bolts, here, and here, main weapons, those cannons need to go offline now. Here comes the laser to help out with the scarab. Come on, take that shield back offline. There we are. One cannon and one shield down and a little bit of internal damage done. Just keep on doing what you were doing before, that's fine. Okay, change of plan again. Uh, main weapons, go for that. Knock out that reactor and the fight is pretty much won for us. Shield down, doom laser doing a bit of work there. 
I am really considering just, rather than adding more to the fleet now, just improving what we already have, because they really do need to be improved. And reactor goes down. Thank you. Goodbye. Loud explosions. And everything is right with the world. Okay, forward thrust on. Should catch up in a second. It does have three of the large thrusters now, able to go forwards. Yep, just keep going for the reactors. Two of those lasers really can't get through our shields. Well, they can, but it'll take a long time. Thank you for the autosave game. These battles have been really long, I know. Okay. So, despite all of that, really only 2,000. Wow, our repairs were almost nothing. I am really happy with how that went. The designs are actually proving way better than I thought they were. Now, you. How did I delete that door? Oh, of course, it had the laser here, and when I removed the laser, I forgot the laser is what had the door attached to it. That's what happened. I keep forgetting. The missile, the missile launcher has such a weird hitbox in terms of where the door positionings are. So, there we are. So what should I do? Should I upgrade what we have, or should we just add another vehicle? I am considering adding an another brawler or another scarab, although adding another missile craft would be fantastic as well. In fact, we could add two of them. Having three of these would be pretty awesome. Then we could always retrofit them later. Oh, just for the sake of having five craft, Having three missile launchers all go off at the start would be great, but that wouldn't add much to our constant fire rate. Adding a second one of you or you, on the other hand, would add quite a bit, especially another one of you. Which has been doing surprisingly well. I'll have to think about this for a second. Although I do love the idea of these vehicles being so specialised, I've just realised that this is the perfect position for an ion beam. In fact, we could do this. A few too many doors there, a lot of fire spreading, but look at that. Yeah, I've got to keep it. Okay, so we're going to add another one of these, and then we're going to name them. So now, the Scarab really is being outdone quite a bit. Either way, though, yeah, we'll add one more of these, and then we'll decide on what we're going to do next. And there we are, the crafts have finally been named. The Recluse, the Locust, and the Scarab. The Recluse is actually named after a spider, the Brown Recluse, because of the whole disabling element with the Electro Bolts being similar to its Venom. Or at least that was the idea in the comments, and I certainly like that, being someone with pet spiders and tarantulas anyway. And Locust just seems to fit with that. I just like the name. So yay! Okay, so now I should actually save you with your new name. I think that would be good. You are now the Locust, and you are now the Recluse. So let's spawn in a second Recluse. And then, in the next episode, what we will do is make our first cannon craft. That, at least, is the plan. So there we are. That should online in just a second. And we still have 10,000 left, which is really good, because that certainly gives us a head start to the next ship. Now, how should we have you guys in terms of placement? I think you two should go ahead. And then you should just be out here like that. A little bit further out, but a bit further forward. Okay. And I'll just tweak that in a little bit so it's all nice and equal. But that seems like a good idea to me. They certainly can take a fair bit of damage, and now with the laser, that's going to really up their input. So from now, the 
damage per second tree much, much higher. The Scarab is looking more and more outdated every single episode. I feel like it's going to need a massive overhaul to stay relevant, and most likely it's going to go one of two ways. Either A, we add multiple ion beams and it becomes an all-out powerhouse, or we add way more armor, way more shielding, way more crew, and it becomes the main defense unit once again, and that'll go in the front and try and take as much damage as possible. I think that seems reasonable. Right? That seems reasonable. Okay. Well, with that, I'm afraid, looking at the time, I am all out of time for today's episode. Even though it was just one sector, I feel like we learned a lot, and we had some really fun battles, even if at the end I did massively derp up. In the next episode, I promise there will be more building, more upgrading, and a few more battles than this one that I really do hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Cosmeteer is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. Soon, cannons.